Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne and welcome to a very small thrift haul. I went to the Raleigh Flea Market, did a little shopping this past weekend and also did some shopping at my antique mall and picked up a few things. But before I show you that, I want to share with you some friend mail that I received from Nicole at Shabby French Door. I'm going to make sure to link her channel in the description box below. So please go and check her out and show her some love. So let's go ahead and get started and see what Nicole sent me and then what I picked up while thrifting. So let's go ahead and see what Nicole sent first. I opened the box because I had to take something out of it that she specifically sent for me that I'm not sharing with you guys. But let's see what else we have in here. Oh my goodness, this looks like a whole bunch of stuff that I can use for shipping. Oh, yes it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. It starts off with this very large bag of ribbons and embellishments. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh yes, we've got, oh, did I knock? No, I didn't knock the table. Oh, this is great, Nicole. There are all kinds of ribbons in here. Oh, is that the little guy that you were saying? Wait, I'll show you that in just a second, guys. Oh, this is fabulous. I can not only use this for packaging, but I can also use this um, for card making and such. So thank you so much, Nicole. This is going to be great. I'm going to put this to good use. And when Nicole was, when we were emailing back and forth, she said that there was one piece in there for my junk jar. And I think I know what it is. And it's this, um, this spreader. So you're right, Nicole, that will go perfect in my junk jar. Thank you very much for that. And then we have just ribbons galore. First though, we do have a set of B playing cards. These are great. I'll be able to put these in packages. These are old though. My goodness, I wonder what how old these are. Uh, it does not have a date. No, there's no date on these. I would love they were made. Uh, the U.S. Playing Card Company in Cincinnati, Ohio. That's where they were made, but it doesn't have a date on them. The Golden Gate Downtown Las Vegas. Those are really cool. Those will be great in packaging. Thank you. And then, I mean, just rolls and rolls of ribbon. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I won't have to get ribbon forever now. We have a gold and a black and a really wide brown and wired yet. And then purple and green. Well, this is fantastic. That purple is really pretty too. It's a very, very light shade of like maybe a lavender. Oh my goodness. And more greens. And more greens and red. This will be perfect come Christmas time. Oh, this is this is just great. Oh, we have two of that one. And then a beautiful yellow and what is that? A gold? No, that one is a silver, and then that one is a pink. I'm not sure if that's coming up properly on the um on the camera though. These are fabulous. And then oh wait, wait. Oh, we have some letters too. We have some letters. So these I'll actually use um, for myself uh, when I pour, because I, I, I've said this before, I'm transitioning to plastic into glass. So I'm going to label my glass containers and this will be great for that. So thank you so much, Nicole. That was so sweet of you to think of me and send me all of this wonderfulness. I promise to put it to good use. Oops. There we go. Okay, so... Let's get to the haul next. I think I'll show you the things that I picked up at the, an the antique mall. So this is the same mall where I have my booth and I know a lot of you have been asking for me to give you kind of a booth update. So I will be doing that. I do still have it. Uh, not last month, but the month before was my best month so far. Last month, I made a little teeny bit of money above my rent, but at least I made my rent so I didn't have to pay that money out of pocket. Uh, but I will do a tour and uh, but coming up, I can't tell you when, and honestly, it'll probably be a couple of weeks, but hang tight for it because it is coming. So at the mall, which is the market of Raleigh is what, is what it is called, 
Uh, with tax, I paid $16.50. Oh my gosh, and I only got five items. I must be crazy. Um, let me see. One of them, which is this one, I'm going to be keeping for myself. And it is this old Dr. Scholl's foot powder. No, I don't think there's any in there container. But this is from, let me get my magnifying glass here. Uh, let's see, U.S. patent, made in the U.S.A. I thought this had a date. Yes, 1968. So I am going to save this for my own collection for my kind of bathroom medicinals kind of uh, items that I am putting together. And then I got this little guy. Do you, who remembers these? I'll bet you there are a bunch of you out there that remember these things. Remember you push up on the bottom and his, and his little body just falls. So he is made, he was only 69 cents back in the day by the Imperial Toy Company. And it is very hard to make out on the bottom of him. He is from Roses. That's where he was purchased. Uh, but he was made in Hong Kong. Very, very hard to make that out on the bottom of that. But I thought this was a fun little find. And I'm going to be right, at least trying to resell him. So he'll be going to a new home. This tin. Oh, it's got a piece of tape on it. But it's not a big deal. Take that off of there. Got this tin. Uh, amphora, amphora, there you go, and what is it, extra mild Cavendish, a gentle smoke, so this was a smoking tobacco, I thought it was just really cool, and I know there are a lot of people that do collect old tins, and you, oh yeah, I guess you must open it this way, pull up on that, and then this little one comes off, you would just work your way around and pulling that off, so you can see that, you know, the top has some wear to it, but this has got to be old. Let's see if we can find a date on it. Uh, it was made in Holland. And I'm just looking very quickly. And I do not see a date on it, but I thought that was a pretty cool find. And then the last two things I found at the antique mall are salt and pepper shakers. And I got these little guys because I've never seen acrylic salt and pepper shakers before, not vintage ones. These are little mice and they have little, I'll show you one of them because they are identical. He has a little bow around his neck and it's going to be very hard for you to see. But right up inside there, inside of his stopper, it does say that he was made in um, Hong Kong. So I had to get these little guys. I've mean, Like I said, never seen them before but they're in perfect condition. There's no nicks or chips or scratches or anything on these little ones. There are the tops, so they'll be going for resale. Oh, and if you do happen to see anything in this video that I haven't said I'll be keeping for myself going into my personal collection, if you might be interested in purchasing this from me directly before it goes into a live sale, shoot me an email and I will leave my email address in the description box for this video. My second pair of uh, salt and pepper shakers are really cool. I've only found another pair similar to these one other time and I cannot remember what they call these. So it's these little figures that have, they're made to have sort of um, human characteristics to them. It starts with an A and ends with a morphic, I think. If I, if I can figure it out, I will uh, put it right here in this video. So these two little guys um, they have their original stoppers. That's pretty cool. And you can see on the bottom, made in Japan. So luckily, not a nick or a chip. Is there any crazing on them? No, nope, no crazing, no paint loss. Perfect, perfect condition. Really happy to have found those. So whoop. that takes care of everything from the antique mall. I hit up the flea market this past Saturday. They have finally opened back up, thank goodness. And it was very nice. It was not crowded at all, which, which was a very pleasant surprise. There were several vendors there. Uh, I did post a picture on Instagram of a booth that had, I said it was Jadeite Palooza. My gosh, the woman had so much Jadeite. It was just amazing 
However, her prices were kind of high, so I did not get anything. But what I did get, and I spent $33 total at the flea market, I got this set of four federal glasses. And I believe they have, all four of them have the same uh, um, design on them. So they are of cars here. And they're in beautiful condition. I mean, the graphics, I'm looking at all of them. The graphics are in perfect condition. I mean, really almost as if they had not been used at all. So I was pretty happy to find those. And then I was able to pick up four willow tree figurines. So I got this one here. And I do like picking these up because I know folks really enjoy these. And this is Angel of Comfort. Let's see there on the bottom. So we have that one. Oh, he's comforting his little dog. Oh, I love that one. And then we have this one is called Sisters by Heart. Now, funny is I'm going to show you another willow tree, Sisters by Heart, which is a totally different design. And it's this one here. So I didn't realize that they could have the same, the figurine could have the same name, but be a total, you know, a different design. So there is the one and there is the other one. So same name, different design. And then the last willow tree that I found is called Thank You. And it's that one there. She's holding a little bouquet behind her. I think I may have had this before and sold it. And there is the bottom of it. So I was pretty happy to find those. Uh, this I picked up for myself. This is gonna go in that bathroom uh, kind of motif thing that I'm, I'm putting together. And this is a raw Raleigh's antiseptic salve. And it's just the tin. There, what, where's the, there's the back of it. So you can use it for family use or on animals, it says. And I'm looking for a date. Oh, there might be one. This is like little teeny tiny writing on here. It was made in Freeport, um, Illinois, USA. And there is no date on this. And I'm just wondering, I haven't even, oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, it's in pretty good condition inside. Kind of surprised. That was the first time I've opened it. So I was happy to find that for my own personal collection. Then for resale, I found this Sawyer's Pure Vanilla Extract bottle. I just thought the bottle was cool. I liked that it still had the label on it. There is no date. It was made in Richmond, Virginia, USA. I don't think there's a date. Let me check the bottom here. Mm. There's some embossing on the bottom of this, but I nope, cannot make that out. But I thought that was a pretty cool bottle. And then the last thing, no, I'm sorry, two more things. I've got another little piano baby, and it's this little baby right here. So he is reading a book. I don't know what book he is reading. His fingers are all intact, thank goodness. There is the back of him. And there is a number on the bottom, but that is the only identifying mark on this little one. So I was pretty happy to pick up that. And then here's another item. How many of you remember these from your childhood? I do. It's the aluminum pitcher and tumblers. I don't recall us having a pitcher, but I know we had these tumblers because I remember exactly where my parents kept them. So I found the tumble, or I'm sorry, the pitcher, and it's in really good condition. Um, the outside of it, I mean, it's got a couple of scrapes on it and stuff. Nothing, nothing bad at all. No dents, which is amazing. And it is made by the Color Craft. Uh, where does that say? That might be Indianapolis, Indiana. If you can make that out on the, let me see. Sometimes that glare is helpful. And then it came with the three tumblers. 
There's a green, a blue, oh, let me get that out of here. A green and blue and I guess that's kind of a purple color. So there we go. I was pretty happy to find that. So I'm actually happy with all of the things that I found. Let me see. Of everything that I showed you, my favorite that I that I thrifted anyway, my favorite that I thrifted is going to be, well, my favorite, it's a toss-up actually, uh, between <laughs> this little guy here and the pitcher and the tumblers because both of these bring back memories from my childhood and I love when items do that. That kind of makes me happy. So if you would, I would love to know what your favorite find was from this little haul that I just shared with you. So if you would, leave a comment in the comment section down below and let me and everyone else know what that was. And if you did enjoy this video, I would love it if you would leave me a thumbs up for it. It does help me out a lot. And if you like thrift haul videos, and shop alongs because I've now learned how to do them. Thrift along with me videos and you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing and hit that all notifications bell so you don't miss any upcoming thrift hauls or any upcoming live sales here on my channel. So that's it for now. Thank you again, Nicole, so much for sending me all of those goodies. I hope you all enjoyed. And as always, please everyone, take very, very good care of yourselves. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.